Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a Divine Feminine reading. So we are going to see what messages Spirit has for you, Divine Feminine. Remember that these messages are general, they will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications whenever I post. So I'm going to jump right into your reading and I will start off by pulling some overall messages. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the Divine Feminine? Messages for the Divine Feminine. Okay. I have put in the work. Let's get another message. Okay. Oh, and I have concern. Okay. Spirit is saying something needs to be addressed. There's something that needs your attention. There's something that needs to be addressed. I feel like for some of you, you're in a state where you're worried, you're overthinking about a situation. But Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine, there's no need for you to overthink. You just need to put in the action. You need to do and not think in this season you need to put in the effort in order to get what you desire i heard results in order to get the results that you want you need to take action so let's get some more messages to go a little bit deeper look at what i have the four wands yeah, some of you want this happily ever after. You want this new beginning. You want to celebrate. You want this fulfillment. But it's going to take you acting. Not just sitting down thinking. This is about you moving forward. Making a decision. I have the star in the reverse. But you have to believe in yourself, Divine Feminine. You have to believe that you can do it. That you can achieve it. That you can attain it. Spirit, give me some more messages. Look at what I have. The nine of wands. Some of you are operating out of fear. That's what I'm getting. You're operating out of fear. Um, you're being too guarded. It's like divine feminine. You're trying to be in control of the situation and control of the outcome, but you can't control the outcome. Spirit says success. I heard career. For some of you, this is about your career. This is about you achieving, attaining success. You're too guarded. You're not stepping out on the limb enough. It's time for you to step out of your comfort zone in order to get the results that you desire. Let's get another message. Look at what I have. Eight of Wands. If you step out of your comfort zone, success is assured. I'm also getting for someone, you need to guard your ideas. I heard taker. There's someone who's trying to, I heard copy, mimic you. Someone who's trying to take your ideas, take credit for your work. You need to be very secretive in this season. Guard what it is that you're working towards or working on. Let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about the four of wands. Look at what I have. Dead. Something has to come to an end. Yes. In order for you to get to this four of wands, energy, divine, feminine, in order for you to se to celebrate, there's something you're going to have to separate from. So in order for you to celebrate, you're going to have to separate from something or someone. Yes, you're going to have to close out a cycle in your life. This is causing you to move forward. But before you move forward, you need to close out something. There's a chapter that you need to let go of. There's something that you need to release. A chapter that needs to end. Let's get a message for the star. Because it's like 
I heard you can't have it both ways. You have to give up something in order to get something. Clarifying the star is Thanksgiving. Something significant about this holiday. And yes, we are coming into Thanksgiving next week. I feel like um, with this Thanksgiving, Spirit is saying like illumination. There's something that's going to be illuminated around this season, in this season, during this holiday time. There's something that's getting ready to be illuminated for you, Divine Feminine. Spirit, tell me more about Thanksgiving. Seven of Pentacles. You need to do the work. You need to do the work. Yes. You need to put in the effort. That's what's going to be illuminated for you around this time. You need to put in the effort. It's like your star isn't shining bright because there's something that you need to just be completely focused on that you need to be committed to. Yes, I heard like testing your commitment. I feel like around this time, spirit is going to test your commitment when it comes to a situation. For some of you, I'm giving a heavy sense of job, career, some type of project that you're working on, Divine Feminine. And it's like spirit is testing your commitment around this season to see if you're going to give up, if you're going to give in, or if, you're, or if you are going to endure to the end. So not give in, but endure to the end. Um, I was going to say Capricorn. So some of you may be a Capricorn or may have placements, very significant placements in Capricorn. Sun, moon, or rising. But yes, spirit is testing your resolve. It's seeing if you're going to stick to your words, stick to your guns, and continue to move forward. Let's clarify the nine of wands. I have access denied, blocking communication. Come on. Yes, access denied. For some of you, you need to protect your dreams, your goals, your ideas. Yes, access denied. Spirit is asking you to be guarded in this season. Do not tell all of your business. You need to guard what it is that you're working on. I heard like work behind the scenes. Yes, not everyone needs to know what you are doing. Not everyone needs to know your location. Not everyone needs to know where you are in your life. Be secretive. Family, friends, it's time for you to just withhold some information from those around you. Because there are people who don't want to see you be successful. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. Tarot reading. Someone has gotten a reading on you. There is someone who has found out your destiny, your calling. That's why Spirit is asking you to be guarded. Someone has been doing research on you, getting readings on you for some, and they found out what it is that's coming in. They found out the path to your success. So that's why Spirit is saying, be very guarded in this season and continue investing into yourself. Not everyone needs to know what it is that you're doing, Divine Feminine. There's a reason why Spirit is saying this. Let's clarify dead. Nine of Wands in the reverse. I heard there's something that you're holding on to. There's something that you're holding on to. There's something that is like you're too open. I heard too giving of yourself. 
And I heard like freedom. Like it's stopping you from being free, Divine Feminine. Let's clarify this Nine of Wands in the reverse. Six of Swords. Yeah, you need to walk away from a situation. For some of you, the situation is a job. For others of you, the situation... I just heard employment. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is going to be about your place of employment. For others of you, and I'm getting like a small group, this is a relationship, a friendship. I'm, like, I'm also getting family for some of you, a specific family member. But there's something or someone that you need to release, that you need to let go of, that you keep giving to. Spirit says it's time to dead that. It's time to put that situation to rest. So that you can finally be happy. So that you can celebrate. Let's get a message for the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Come on, Divine Feminine. I can't make this up, Divine Feminine. The Queen of Pentacles. If you keep investing, you are going to turn into the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles energy you will possess. Right now, you feel like your star isn't shining bright enough, but it's because you're still going through the process. There's still some more work that you need to do. For some of you, you're going to come into this Queen, Queen of Pentacles energy. I heard like the week of, the week of Thanksgiving. There's something that's going to take off for you very unexpectedly. But keep on investing. Keep on pouring. With this star in the reverse, spirit is letting me know that it's a process. Spirit wants you to know that it is a process. It's not going to happen overnight. You have to be patient with yourself, Divine Feminine. So let's get a message for Access Denied. I have the world. Everybody doesn't need to know about this new cycle, this new beginning that's going to take place in your life. The world. Yes. This is a new chapter that is beginning for you and everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. You can't take everything with you. Again, you're going to have to walk away from a situation. For some of you, you're going to have to walk away from a job, from a career. For others of you, this is about a relationship, family, friends. But it's like spirit is saying access denied. Everyone is not going to go with you on this journey. You're going to have to leave some people behind. You're going to have to leave some mindsets behind. Thinking patterns. You're going to have to leave it behind. Everything and everyone can't go. That is what spirit is wanting you to know. It may be difficult, but they can't because they will be a hindrance to you. This part that they're playing in your life is getting ready to be finalized. It's getting ready to be over. They've had their season. Now you're getting ready to enter into a new season. We're going to meet new people, have new experiences, Divine Feminine access denied they will not gain entry to this new season to this next chapter of your life their part is over the curtain has closed and they have taken their bow let's get a message for tarot reading Five of Cups in the reverse. This is about you coming out of a state of lack into a state of abundance. And it's going to happen very unexpectedly. Who's ever been trying to um, get readings on you? For some of you, this is just people trying to be all up in your business, trying to find out your next move. It's like... They may have been told that, yes, you are going to be successful. Yes, you are going to be prosperous. But they didn't get the full picture. Everything wasn't revealed to them. But they see the change in you. They see the change in your life. They know that it's something that's getting ready to happen very unexpectedly out of the blue. 
for some of you, I'm also getting that you may have been going and getting a lot of tarot readings in order to receive information about the next chapter of your life, about your career. I also heard love interest. And the reader is telling you things are getting ready to shift. There's getting ready to be a change. You are getting ready to come out of a difficult season. Whether this is you getting a personal reading or this is just you watching a lot of tarot. You're being told repeatedly that yes, you're going through a difficult season. You're going through a difficult cycle. But things are getting ready to change. There's getting ready to be a shift. Spirit says believe them. Believe what you are hearing. Things are going to get ready to shift. You are no longer going to be stuck, stuck on the past. Stuck in a mindset of lack. You're finally going to turn around and look at what you have left. And work with that. Build on that. So let's pull some final messages for you. Spirit, give me some final messages for the Divine Fem. Final messages for the Divine Fem. I have life is speeding up. Eight of Wands. Yes, life is speeding up. Pre I prepare for takeoff. That is what I just heard, Divine Feminine. Prepare for takeoff. Eight of Wands. You're not going to expect this. Queen of Pentacles energy. You're not going to expect this. For some of you, you've already distanced yourself from these people, from these situations. You've already walked away. I'm just getting a sense you just went through a difficult season, a season of change. Yes, a lot of five energy just changes all around you. Changes in your career. Changes in your relationships. Changes within yourself. And it's like you had to clear out all of that energy in order to get ready for this season. You had to make room for what's getting ready to come into your life. And this is going to happen at the speed of lightning very unexpectedly. Things are getting ready to speed up for you, Divine Feminine. Things are getting ready to pick up in your life. You're getting ready to go into the overflow. You're getting ready to go into abundance, the life of abundance, Queen of Pentacles energy. You've been putting in the work and things are getting ready to shift and you're going to see that hard work pay off. Let's get another message. Watch and wait. Come on, Divine Feminine. Seahorse Spirit. That's all you have to do is watch and wait. That's what Spirit says. Watch and wait. You are going to be amazed. Spirit is going to shock you with the amount of blessings that are coming towards you. With the amount of success you're going to have. With the amount of doors that's getting ready to open for you. Spirit says just watch. Don't doubt, Divine Feminine. Just watch. Watch Spirit work in your life. Watch God Perform miracles in your life, Divine Feminine. Let's get one more message. Come on, trust in the magic, Divine Feminine. White Raven Spirit, just trust in the magic. Believe in the miracles. Believe in the impossible because it's getting ready to happen in your life. Yes, on this day, on the day that you read, on the day that you listen to this reading, expect a miracle to happen in your life. Yes, for some of you, Spirit is saying, I heard three weeks to three months. Three weeks to three months. Spirit is saying, some of you, you're on different timelines. But Spirit is saying three weeks to three months from watching this reading, expect miracles, expect shifts, expect transitions, Divine Feminine. Spirit had me to pull three final messages for a reason. Three weeks to three months, expect major shifts in your life. Going into the new year 2022 is going to be an astounding, amazing year for you. You're getting ready to come out of the drought. You're getting ready to come out of the storm and you're going into the sunshine. Yes. Spirit says, pay attention to the rainbow. That message is for someone. Pay attention to the rainbow. The rainbows that you've been seeing in the sky. That is spirit letting you know that you're being divinely guided. That message is for someone. But yes, this is your season. 
Spirit says, trust in the magic. Trust in the magic. Believe in the miracles. Know that anything is possible. And just watch and wait for it to unfold. Because things are going to change in the blink of an eye. Divine Feminine. So these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.